The Aussie dollar has been one of the world's best performing currencies this month, surging against the yen, greenback and euro. Joining me now live is business reporter Edward Boyd. Ed, our dollar has benefited from the US Federal Reserve holding interest rates last week. Yeah, since the US Federal Reserve kept interest rates on hold last week, a lot of currency traders have been selling their US dollars and they've been buying Aussie dollars instead. And it's been the same story at a lot of other currencies around the world. So we just got a few charts we can show you, just showing the strength of the Aussie dollar over the past month. The first one is the Aussie dollar against the yen. Now, you can see we're up 6% we're up over the past month against the yen. And that's due to the Bank of Japan keeping interest rates at incredibly low levels over there. If we go to the next page, we can look at the yen versus the US dollar. Up 3%, we're currently buying 68.47 US cents per Aussie dollar, which is reasonably strong. We have been around the 72 cent level in October last year. Here it is against the euro, up about 2% against the euro. And on the last page, you've got the Aussie dollar versus the Chinese renminbi. And you can see here, due to China's economy struggling, people are buying Aussie dollars. Next page is what the dollar's done in the last 24 hours. You can see it's coming off a little bit against the US and the Euro and China and the New Zealand dollar, but it is up against the yen. And I think it's a great time if you're looking to travel overseas, you're getting better value for your dollar right now in all of those different areas around the world that I just mentioned, but particularly Japan. The Aussie dollar hasn't been this strong against the Japanese yen for quite a few years. So it would be a good time to go to Japan if you've got any holidays planned. Oh, this might encourage people, uh, Ed Boyd, <laughs> to, to book that holiday that they've been wanting. Now, Ed, the local stock market has also been performing well, it could surge to a seven-week high today. Yeah, the magic number we're looking for is 7,325 points. So we can put up a live chart on the screen just showing where the market's at in the early trading this morning. It's at 7,316. So it's just a few points off its seven-week high. So the, the Aussie market has actually been surging pretty well over the past couple of weeks. Look, the market wasn't expecting the RBA to keep interest rates on hold earlier this month, and it did fall a bit on that Tuesday. But it has recovered. So the market is looking pretty good at the moment in early trade. Today, the big story is the minutes from that RBA board meeting. They're going to be released at 11.30. We'll get a bit more understanding as to why the RBA is continuing to lift interest rates aggressively in our economy. So we'll get that at 11.30 and then the Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank, Michelle Bullock. She's going to be speaking at a conference a bit later this afternoon about what the definition for full employment is in Australia. We know the unemployment rate is at 3.6%. We believe full employment is closer to 4.1%, 4.2%. So we should get some clarity around that later this afternoon from the RBA. OK, Ed Boyd, thank you for the update.